Okay, so here I am with my uh, 2006 TJ Unlimited or LJ. Um, I have Curry steering on mine, and uh, there's lots of questions here about death wobble and how to diagnose it. Um, one of the first things you want to do is do what's called a dry steer test. Now I've got a uh, I've got a helper inside the Jeep right now, and you can, you can hear that it's running. Um, my helper is simply going to stand on the brakes, the car is in neutral, the e-brake is on, or the parking brake is on, and all he's going to do is wiggle the wheel back and forth just a little bit, and we're going to look for movement in those, in those tie rod ends and fittings. So here we have the link for the, between the drag link and the, uh, and the tie rod. Um, and these are tie rod ends. All of these are tie rod ends. No matter what anybody wants to call them, that's what they're called. Now you should have zero movement um, in those areas when you do this dry steer test. So here I'm going to get up a little bit closer and while my helper turns that wheel back and forth, we can see pretty clearly that when the tie rod moves, the steering linkage is activated, that everything moves in unison. And then we're going to go to the knuckle. And there's zero play, zero movement in there. No up and down, no side to side without the knuckle actually moving. And we're going to go to the other side as well. And we can see very clearly that when that tie rod moves, the whole steering mechanism moves. Nothing's left out. Now there's also a question about rotation of the drag link, it's link itself. Now, I'm going to grab the drag link here, and you can see I can rotate it just a little bit along its longitudinal axis, but where it's connected to the pitman arm, when the tie rod moves, the pitman arm moves. So there should be zero up and down movements, there should be zero up and down movement, and there should be zero side to side movement. But this rotation is perfectly normal. You're also going to look at bushings in your steering stabilizer there. You have potential for movement in the knuckles, the ball joints there and there, but that's less common. And then, of course, we also have here in the control arms, which control the forward to aft motion of the uh, axle. There's very little, if any, movement in those whatsoever. Now you can take a pry bar and get into those and and push those and force those a little bit, um, and you should you should see very little movement. They are rubber bushings, so they'll be a bit, but it should be fairly obvious if it's if it's any excessive at all. You need a lot of pressure to make those move. So I think that pretty much covers it. I want to get in here and clean things up today. Um, lubing all my, uh, lubing everything. Um, greasing all my, my Zerg fittings. And uh, I hope that helps you a little bit.